I miss y'all. All right, so today we are going to paint pumpkins. So what we are going to start off with is the background. Now that is going to be gray. I would prefer a lighter gray. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your black and your white. You're going to mix that together. And if you have a bigger brush, a larger brush, go ahead and grab it. So we're going to, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice gray. That's light enough. So we're going to start with that. Grab a good bit. So add more white than black. Okay. So once you get that, you're just going to... Scoop it up and start making some plops. You're going to see a line here at the bottom. Let's leave that alone for now. Let's just stay above the line. Make sure you have your paper towels ready because we are grabbing a paper towel right now. So you're gonna take your paper towel, you're gonna dunk it in your water, you're gonna give it a good squeeze. Okay, so you're gonna grab your paper towel, you're gonna dunk it in your water, give it a good squeeze, you want it damp, you don't want it sop and wet, and then you're just gonna move all of that paint around. So I'm gonna pick this up, and you're just gonna move it around. Try not to get on top of your image, but if you do, that's okay, you really can't mess it up. So just move that paint around. If your paper towel starts to fall apart, then it's too wet. So make sure you bring it out pretty good. Then we're going to get to the other side. And if you do go beneath the line like I did, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you can still see it which you should be able to with this light gray. And I'm just gonna go right over that vine. That's okay. All right. Now you can go back in for some more gray or you can leave it as is, up to you. I'm just going to use my paper towel for this. All right, so we're going to start off with that light gray. We're going to let that be for now. So next, I want you to clean off your smaller brush. And we're going to go in for some black. We're just gonna do the outline now. So we're gonna outline every image you see in the painting, every line in black. Okay. So I am going to start here. And you see the pumpkin has so many lines. So we're just gonna try and separate and block out every piece of the image. We have this vine here. Now, you'll see I'm I kind of freestyle with the sketch a little bit. I just, I took out one of the pumpkins and I just didn't love that vine. I thought a little loop-de-loop -loop would be a little more exciting. So that's why there's a difference in the drawing and the painting. So we're just gonna keep on going. And try not to put too much paint on your brush. You don't want it too heavy. 
pumpkins. You don't want black pumpkins. That would be rotten pumpkins. So if your paint stops traveling, just go in for a little bit more, put it in your water, give it a wipe. And keep on going. So that's one pumpkin. We have four pumpkins total. So we're just going to outline everything. Your outline doesn't have to be perfect. And that pumpkin goes right to the edge. You see how light that black is? That's because I'm not putting a whole lot on my brush. You don't want it heavy at all. So now we're going to do the barrel. And while you, while you have the um, black on your brush, there's this little bitty section right here. We're going to fill that in with black. It looks like a little triangle. We do want to add that shadow there. And then just keep on going. Now we're going to finish the barrel. We're going to get every line. And this is a vine. It's kind of merging with the barrel a bit, but once we outline it, we should be able to find it. This is our last pumpkin. Go in for more water if your brush stops moving the paint around. Just dampen it a little bit. And proceed. I like this pumpkin. Alright. Now with that same black, go ahead and mark out your brown from the background. That line doesn't have to be perfect either. We're going to have some shadows down there so and a lot of leaves so we really won't see it but we want to block out every section of the painting. Alright so that's our outline. We're going to clean off the brush and our next step is going to be the pumpkins. So we're going to start with the top pumpkin. Now if you don't have orange, you can mix your red and your yellow and just mix it until you find an orange that you like. You might want to put more yellow than the red and you'll see it quicker. But I also have orange here, so I'm just going to use the orange that I have. But I'll use this as an accent too. So we don't waste that. Alright, so we're going to use this orange. And what I want you to do, I want you to take some of that orange and I want you to add some white to it. I want 
maybe three different spots for orange. So we're gonna have orange with white. We're gonna have orange by itself. So the orange with the white is going to be lighter. And then we're going to take some of that orange and we're going to put a little bit of the red in it. Just a little bit. So once you find an orange with your red and yellow, if you don't have an orange, then just start mixing whatever orange you have with white and then with more red than yellow, if that makes sense. So let's get started on our pumpkins. Let me see. I think I'll use this brush. So I'm going to go in just for some pure orange all by itself. You don't want it too heavy because we're going to go over these pumpkins maybe one more time towards the end. So once you get your orange, all you have to do is just paint right down. And your black's going to show through. So it automatically has a shade to it. All right, so I'm doing a big pumpkin right now. So I'm painting around the other two small ones. Okay. And just wiggle around that vine. It's okay if you paint over it because we're going to paint those green and that green's going to cover that up. So I'm going to get me a little bit more orange on my brush. You'll see how you can just still see the line showing through. If you cover your lines up, then you're putting too much paint down. So that's one pumpkin. Now I'm going to go to the other one. But with the other one, I think I'm going to take my brush, don't clean it, just go right in for the lighter orange. So that's going to be the orange mixed with the white. And go in for the next pumpkin. So that's the one that's more in the center. Now, we're going to add all of the shading and accents once we're done blocking out the pumpkins. So we want to make sure that we get all the paint on every part of the image first and then we can go back and start adding all the details. But because of our outline, we already have one of the important details, which is the shading. So. But we'll add more to that later. All right. So I'm going to go back in for some more of this white. But I'm going to mix more orange into it. So when I say more of the white, that's my light orange. That's my red orange. 
and this is my regular orange. So I'm going to take this and then we're just going to pull some regular orange into it and mix it up just to darken it a little bit. Okay? And I'm going to go back over this pumpkin. And you should still be able to see the lines underneath it. All right. Now, I want to go in for my red orange. Don't clean your brush because we're still using orange. As long as we're using all the different oranges, we don't have to clean our brushes. So I'm leaving that white orange on there and I'm going in with the red orange. So it should look almost peachy, but not quite. Almost. All right. So we're gonna go to this little last baby pumpkin over here, and it's gonna be darker than the rest. All right. All right. So, I still have a good bit of my red orange on my brush. So what I'm gonna do is just hop down to this big pumpkin down here and keep going. All right, I'm going to go over a little bit of water and I'm going to keep going with that red orange, but I'm going to add a little bit of that light orange to it, just a touch. You might not even really see a difference, but it'll give the pumpkin a little bit of that, just a little bit. All right, now there's some pumpkin back here. You can't really see it, but all you have to do is just make just a little touch. And then there's a little bit here. And here. All right. So I am going to go in and y'all see the three different shades of orange that we created. So you can literally go in, pick whichever one you like the most, mix them up, and just add them on top of the first layer of orange that's already on the pumpkins. So I just took some of that light orange, I mixed it in with some pure orange, and I'm going to add it to my big pumpkin. Just in different spots. And blend it up a little bit. You can just leave it there. And then I want some of that red orange. I'm actually going to go into that orange I made with my red and yellow. And I want to add it here. I'm going to go over it a little bit. And then I'm going to add a nice line here. And maybe there. And then for my darker pumpkin, that reddish orange one, I'm going to add a little bit of light orange to it. Just a touch. 
touch. And then I'm going to still leave all that paint on my brush and I'm just going to bring it down. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this red orange again. I'm going to bring it over here. You see how I'm leaving it with the brush strokes? It gives it that painterly look. You can just put it on there like you can just touch it. You don't even have to blend it. Just touch it with your brush and let it be. All right, so we're gonna step away from the pumpkins for now. We're gonna do the barrel. So clean your brush. If you have another brush to use, that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna switch brushes. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to just keep my little orange brush right here. All right, so for the barrel. The barrel is, it has violet in it, it has black, and it has brown, and it has a little red. So... Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to make your violet if you don't have a violet. You're just going to mix your red and your blue. So I'm going to add some of that blue to that primary red. And so we have our violet. Now there's a lot of violet in the back background as well too. So, but we're not gonna get back to the background yet. We're gonna do our barrel and then we'll go to the background. So, I'm gonna clean off a little bit of that violet. All right, so go in for your brown. So I have a light brown and a dark brown. So if you have, I want to say black with some orange and a little bit of red, you can make a brown. So I'm going to start off with this medium brown and I'm just going to start making streaks. And you already know, get your paper towel ready. Alright, try to avoid your pretty pumpkin if you can. If you can't, that's okay. You can't mess this up. We can fix it. So just bring it down. Try not to lose this line here. So if you want to avoid it with the brown, that's fine. I'm not because I like the way that everything blends. You see how I ended up pulling some of that pumpkin down? That's okay. Now it's gone. You could leave it like that and have a nice barrel, but we're not going to do that. We are going to play with it a bit. So go ahead. I'm going to use my paper towel with the gray on it because you want it kind of grungy looking, a little rustic. So I'm going to just go ahead and wipe. It's just a pat. You don't want to scrub it, so just, just pat. giving it that woodsy look. And then we're gonna go back in and get some more of that medium brown.
and we're going to do the same thing. It's apply and wipe. And what's going to happen is, it's like we're staining the canvas. And so these marks are just going to start showing themselves. You see here? So that white's going to pop out and kind of create the accent of the wood for us. So I'm going to add a bit more light brown to my mid brown that I have. So, and y'all, this color is actually a raw sienna. So I don't know if you have that, but if you do, you can pull that out. And then this is, um, I think this is raw umber, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So they're both browns, just fancy words, but brown nonetheless. So I'm going to add more. Now I'm going to leave some of my painterly strokes here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe a little bit just in sections. And now I'm going to go in for black. So add some black to your dark brown. You don't want it pure black. So just mix some of that dark brown with your black. Should look like that, like a real dark chocolate. And then I want you to draw some lines. It doesn't matter how close they are to each other. So just turn your brush on an angle. So just on an angle and just draw some lines straight down, straight up and down. Stop when you get to the pumpkin. Yeah. All right, give that a second, let it sit. And while that sits, go back in for some of that chocolate and a little bit more black to it. And let's get the bottom of the barrel. All right. And then I want you to bring it up. And then we're going to get the other side. And then I want you to take that same chocolate brown. If you need more, add more black to your dark brown. And we're going to go over the top. So just try to miss your pumpkins if you can. You can darken that little hole right there where the pumpkins are barely touching and then just keep on going all right so you have your lines on your pumpkins go in damp paper towel not soft and wet and just pull it down Okay. All right. So don't clean your brush. So just keep your chocolate on your brush. And then we're going to go in for that violet we made. So just go right back. And you only need to just flip it around a few times. You don't need a lot. And then bring it over by your chocolate brown. 
and pull more of that chocolate brown in it. And it's gonna start looking like a nice plum. That is pretty. All right. So, we are going to add this to the barrel. And then there's a line cutting through. I want you to add it to that line. You're gonna have to go over it again. All right, now I'm gonna go in for some more chocolate chocolate brown and I'm going to go over the plum not all the way you want to be able to see a little bit of brown a little bit of black a little bit of white peeking through to give it that rustic look you want to see all those colors mixing but also standing alone. So, we are going to add just a touch, just a touch of this red orange, just a touch of it. And then take that red orange that you just put on your brush and bring it over to your plum, just the corner, and blend that. And we're gonna go over the line again. Yep. So. And you can just edge around that vine and that pumpkin. All right, so now I'm not cleaning my brush. I am going to go in for some more of my medium brown. And I want to add just a touch of white to it. So it's going to almost have this grayish look to it. And I'm gonna start muting down this violet and these real dark colors. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go in for a little bit of black just to get this corner here. And I'm just gonna start adding a little shade. Just gonna create some accents throughout the barrel. There's no particular order, just whatever you see fit, add a little bit of shade. And we're gonna do the same thing with a little bit of white but I don't recommend cleaning a brush just go right back on in you can pull it into that that lighter grayish brown we created and it's just going to go a shade up and we're just gonna kind of add a little accent around the barrel let's see somewhere in here That's going to be nice and gray because that's a dark corner. Let's see. I 
and if you touch your paint and you find it sticky to the touch almost, that's a good time to wipe. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to wipe. Now, when I say wipe, don't flatten it on the canvas. Just, just wisp it. Like just, you just want to graze it a little bit. And wherever the paper towel touches, then that's all it's going to take off. You don't want to give it a full blown wipe like we did the background. So just, just little taps, little love taps. So, and I think I like that. Now, if you want it more defined, just go in. You can add, um, I would say more black and brown, mix it. And then you can make those lines. But I'm really liking this abstract looking barrel here. Okay. So I'm going to come back to my barrel because I know I want to play with it some more. But I also want to start getting in our vine and our background. Now, the background is pretty much every color that's on our palette. So what I want you to do is go ahead and, I mean, you really don't have to clean your brush. You just don't really want black. So yeah, go ahead and clean your brush. So what we're gonna do is everything that we put up here, we wipe and then we take our brush with the same color and we're gonna make little wispies going to be the fallen leaves. So I'm going to go in for some blue and violet. I'm going to mix that just a little bit and that's going to be a blue violet and I'm just going to make little marks here. We just want the impression of leaves falling. We don't have to make them look like leaves to make it feel like fall. So I'm going to go back in for a little bit more. I'll add more purple this time. I'm just going to just wipe. Doesn't have to be super heavy. All right. I'm going to use my dirty paper towel because I want all the browns and the grays to blend with this. So. And when you wipe, wipe the same way as the brush stroke. But just try not to wipe it all the way away. All right, that's the first layer. So let's see. I think fall, what, what color are fall leaves? So I've seen some orange ones. So I'm just going to use a little orange, maybe add some white to that, and then I'm going to give it a white. And I want some blue. So you can clean your brush whenever you go from orange to blue. But at this point for your background, you can choose any colors on your palette. You're gonna make that same wind blown, leaves fall in motion, and then you're gonna wipe. So you don't have a specific order. But if you go from orange to blue, be careful because that orange is gonna turn that blue until a very not so cute color. But if you do it separately, it's going to look nice. You know, while I'm at it, I want to add some of the gray from the background that we did when we did when we first started. So you're going to add some black and some white.
and you can plop that right on top of your glue or underneath it. So you're gonna take your paper towel. I'm gonna get mine a little bit damp. So we're trying to make motion here with the leaves falling on a nice autumn day. So just move your wrist back and forth. Now you can do this same thing with your brush if you just don't like getting your hands dirty with the paper towel. Just grab a flat brush, the same brush that we've been using would be fine. And just go back and forth in that motion. But to get a full coverage of the space of the background and do it quickly, you can go larger. So. But I like to use the paper towel because it blends at the same time. You don't have to go back and blend it with the brush. some gray on my brush. I'm just going to wet it a little bit, give it a wipe. I'm not going to be too concerned about it being fully clean. And I'm going to start adding those same colors on the bottom. Now the bottom, you're going to just kind of leave the leaves there. So you're just going to Come back to the top. And let's see. I'm going to add some. We have this blue, purple, some red. Yeah, let's do a little red. You're just going to put your brush down. You're just going to touch your canvas just and lift it up. So it's just like a, you just want to make a mark. And then you can bring that mark up here and bring that mark over here. And then I'm going to go back in for a little gray and I'm going to that gray gives us that atmosphere of coldness or cool not cold more cool so we want to wipe now So in this corner over here, I'm just going to spread it around. And then I'm going to go back in for some more gray. And I'm using my paper towel, but I'll show you with the brush too. So just got a little gray here. You want to tone down that red because red and violet will take over quickly, very quickly. So 
So if you start running low on gray, just take some of your white, take some of your black, mix them together. At this point, it doesn't have to be so light. And then you can just kind of wiggle it in at the bottom, loosely, very loosely. All right. Just keep that motion. All right, so now we can start playing with the bottom some more. Take the same damp paper towel, the dirty one, and let's see, yeah. You wanna still be able to see a little bit of the leaves, but not so much. You don't want them completely disappear like this, but you don't want them completely there either. So, you see how that red really takes over? So, what we're going to do is calm it down a bit with some green. So, if you don't have green, you're just going to mix some yellow and blue. And that's it. And you're gonna get the same green from yellow and blue as you would from the tube. So I'm gonna just find a little space. That looks nice. So just gonna make my little wisp at the bottom. And that's going to calm down that red some. And then I'm just going to make some with the top. And you know what you can do? With every color you add to your background and to the ground, you can start adding white to it. And then I want to start adding yellow. So you don't have to clean your brush. Just go right in for your yellow. And you can add it at the bottom. You can add it right next to your green. So, you know, I want to add a little bit of blue too. I want some more blue. So I'm going to add some more blue here and here in this area around my pumpkins. And I'm going to bring some blue down at the bottom. So you can literally go into your palette. You can pick whichever color you like and start adding your leaves. That's all we're doing is adding leaves, wiping, Adding more leaves and wiping. All right. So I'm going to start wiping this side. And you can leave some of that white there. It just works. So I'm going to wedge into this area here. 
All right, let me get this side. All right, so this area, I want to wipe. So just take it in a circular motion and just hold your canvas tight and wipe it. Like I want to see my canvas again in this area. It's going to give me this illusion of light coming in. So if you're, this is the one time where your paper towel can be a little more than damp. I'm still going to squeeze it because you don't want water running down your hand, but let's find the canvas in this spot. And see, it's going to mix with that yellow. Yep. So just a nice circular motion. So I'm going to let those colors rest some and I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to, I'm going to add some violet to it and I want to add a little bit of gray to it. So get your brush and go in for your violet. You can even pull in some of that blue violet too. That'll look nice. And then go in for your gray. And then your violet again. Alright. And I want to get into these corners around the barrel. And then this little corner here. I have more ground in this one than that one because we took that pumpkin out, but that's all right. Got that violet towards the bottom of your pumpkin. And then I want to add a little orange. That's just gonna dirty it up just a little bit because it is the ground. Touch of green. So I'm adding green now. Just I don't want to see so much red. And if you come up some, that's fine. That is fine. Leave a little few specks of white. Let's see. Hmm. And you can just clean your brush off right on your canvas at this point. That is fine. So I'm going to get a clean sheet of paper towel. I'm going to dunk it in my dirty water though. And see I got that too wet so I'm going to put another paper towel.
and just go back and forth. But what I'm really interested in is going around this barrel. I want to kind of scrub it a bit. See, you can see some light coming in there. So I'm going to go back in with my brush. Let's see, I'm going to grab the one with the green on it. So we're doing what you're really not supposed to do. We're making it muddy and dirty looking. But when you look at fall leaves, you see all of these colors, but you also see a whole lot of brown. So it works. And the violet helps us not look so, not as dirty. It calms it down makes it a bit more aesthetic. So I want some more yellow. Let me get in this corner. See how that yellow against that purple really pops. It's nice. Alright. So once you're done playing with your background and your ground, then we have the vines left and then you can start playing with your pumpkins again if you want to. If you're pleased with the way your pumpkins look, then leave them alone, but it doesn't hurt to just kind of play around a little bit longer. It's okay. So I'm going to give my bottom one more little dab, just a tap, nothing crazy. like this. I'm going to go with this. Now there is a space in here that I bypass. That's okay. You're just going to take your brush. Now whichever color you want or all the colors in this tiny space. I'm gonna do purple and yellow. And then a little blue. And see it's actually turning it green. Just use your tiny brush and get in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna All right, so try not to miss that, miss that part whenever you're doing your background. So when you're doing your background with all of your leaves and you're wiping and adding, get inside the crevices of your, your twirly vine, okay? So now I'm gonna go in just for some green. So you go in for your green. Mine's a little dirty, but that's okay. I, I like it um, looking a little murky. So I'm gonna, if you have a smaller brush, use a smaller brush. I'm just gonna go for it. And actually I'm just gonna And then bring your green down and then bring it up 
Now, you're going to find all your pumpkins with your green. So all the vine. Here's a vine. Then we're just going to splat some green right on top. You're just going to sit it on top. And then we'll go back in. Do the same thing here. You just touch it. If it's really tiny, just let your, your brush just... Boop. You don't have to like get in there and actually try and make it perfect. We just want the idea of a vine. Then go in for this one down here that's hard to see. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more vine here. All right, and I think those are all of my vines. So if you want to add a little white to your vine or a little yellow, you can do that too, it won't hurt. Now the last part, let's see, I wanna, and see you can keep coming back to the background in the foreground. I'm just playing with this area here. But I'm going to show you how to get the impression of the foliage here. I guess it's like a little pumpkin patch with all the vines folding down. So let's see. I did that with my paper towel. But I'll show you how to do it with a brush. So you can take your larger brush. If you don't have a larger brush, just use your small one. That's fine. Go in for your green. See, I'm actually, because I'm all in the middle here, I'm getting all these different colors inside of my green. But I like it, so I'm going to keep it. So, this area here, you're just going to... So just real quick little touches and just pull it down just really quick touches so it's like you're going up and down up and down now I'm gonna actually make me a proper green let's see so we got this nice forest green. I'm going to add some yellow to it. I'm going to put that yellow green on the side. So I'm going to go right back over here. And then I just want some yellow. Now, I'm going to take my paper towel A clean one is fine. Give it a squeeze after you dip it in your water. You're just going to boil it up and you're just going to touch it. You can wipe a little bit as you touch. So we want the canvas, the peak. I'm going to go in just for some white. Just take my paper towel and then I'm going to touch my green. So I took my paper towel, I touched my white, and now I'm touching my green and some of that yellow. And I'm just going to dab around it. And just pull it down. All right. And 
I would say you've reached a point to where you can really just do what you want now. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my little white dots to my barrel. Y'all see? Some are gray, some are white. I'm just gonna add little touches so it's like boop, boop. And then add some up here. Mm -hmm. Just so. And then, let's see. I'm going to add a little white. I prefer wiping. So, let's see, this will do. With this bright orange, it's okay to tone it down some with a dirty paper towel. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm going to go back in for my orange, and now I'm just doing touch-ups. Now I'm making my painting my own. So at this point, you just want to make your painting the way you like it. And, um... You can add more different shades of orange to each pumpkin. You can't mess it up as long as you stay in the perimeters. Um, you can play with your bottom. Again, you can add more detail to the background. If you want to create it lighter, just scrub a little bit more with your paper towel. But um, we're, we're done, y'all. So I hope y'all have fun with this. Thank you.